Welcome to Bonsai Keto. We like to focus on quick and easy keto recipes, and if you like that idea, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to see what we're up to next. Today, we're making low-carb blueberry bread. The full recipe and macros will be in the description below, as well as on bonsaiketo.com. The items you'll need for today's bread is going to be eggs, almond flour, erythritol, coconut flour, heavy whipping cream, vanilla, butter, baking powder, and blueberries. We're going to start off by mixing our dry ingredients first. We have two cups of almond flour, two tablespoons of coconut flour, and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Mix that together and set it to the side. The next step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now you're wondering what I have in my hand here. This is wet parchment paper. I'm going to teach you a really neat trick. So wet your parchment paper, form it into your pan, and I'm going to take small binder clips and clip it right to the pan. And it's okay, you can bake with these on the pan. It's gonna hold your parchment in place. Now, if you prefer, you can go ahead and butter your pan. This will make it nice and easy cleanup. You just pull the whole loaf out and then it all comes out together. We're now going to mix the eggs, the sweetener, and the vanilla for approximately three minutes until it's frothy. You said frothy. I said frothy. I did. Now that we have frothy eggs, it's time to mix our dry ingredients. Add a little bit at a time. Now that that's mixed, it's time to add the butter. One of the tips I learned for the blueberries to help them float in the bread instead of sinking to the bottom is to put them in some coconut flour. You don't need a lot, just enough to get it coated. Then we're gonna fold these into our mix. Now we have our lined baking pan. We're going to put our mix in. You want to spread this out as even as possible. We have our oven preheated to 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake this bread for approximately 45 to 50 minutes or until golden brown. We'll see you in 45 to 50 minutes. It's been 45 minutes, 
The timer just went off, so let's take our blueberry bread out of the oven. Smells wonderful. So the next step is I'm going to remove the bread from the pan and then we're going to let it cool on the cooling rack for about 15 minutes. Now is the benefit of the parchment paper. Comes right out of the pan. No mess, but it is hot. We have let the blueberry bread cool for 15 minutes, and now it's time to give it a taste. This is my favorite part. Bill benefits from me cooking. Okay, let's give it a try. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's moist, too. This is cut into 16 pieces, so the full macros will be in the description below. As well as on bonsaikido.com. I just wanted to pick it up so you can see. It has a nice texture to it, nice firm top. But it's moist. That's what I like about it. That's Delicious. really good. <laughs> I really like this. The true test will be to let our daughters taste it. Since they're not keto, to see if they'll approve, give us a thumbs up. Absolutely. They saw the blueberries in the house and wanted to eat them. And I said, no, no, <laughs> no that's for I'm recipe. making a recipe with them, but you can try it once I'm done. So I'll have to go let them taste it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you try this recipe, let us know what you think of it in the comments below. It's a hit in my eyes. Definitely a hit for me, too. As I clean the plate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you.